Hi, this is Martin, your carpet overlocking teacher. Okay, today we're going to talk about tying off or finishing off and leave a nice neat end. So here we go. We're stitching up to the corner and you'll notice at the corner I lift the foot to, to go around the corner and then st stitch over what you've already done a little way and then tie off from there. Take it out of the machine. I always pull a bit of cotton out and then push it forward to make it easy. Make sure you give yourself plenty of length so that you can tie, you've got something to tie with. Get the scissors and snip it off. Perhaps you need a foot or somewhere near that much. Remove the, the one piece of cotton that is loose. Grab the other two cottons in one hand and the yarn in the other and just do two granny knots, one over the other like that. Pull it tight and again, very simply like that. <laughs> then with a, a, with a crochet hook, which I use as a number three crochet hook and that you notice it's got two little flat sides for your finger and thumb and just slide it through the stitching and bring it bring the point out where you finished okay then turn the point of the hook towards you put your finger over the yarn and the, and the threads slide it under the hook and grab it with your thumb See that again? Put your finger under the yarns, over the hook, and grab it with your thumb. Turn your hook to the back, or slightly down, and then just pull it through. With practice, you'll find that you'll get that very easily. Then give it a slight tug, snip it off, and you've got a beautiful finish that you can't actually see where it's finished. I hope that helps you.